In this video, I'll discuss uh, how you can automate uh, dependency updates for your repositories on GitHub. I researched uh, two built-in solutions. There's Dependabot, uh, which you might already know, and uh, there's uh, Renovate. And there are pros and cons to using uh, both of them. And hopefully this will help you maintain your libraries more efficiently and uh, that you will provide a better experience for your users. In past, I was relying more on the manual dependency updates, which I know is bad. I was either, if the library wasn't used at all by me, I was relying that some of the users would report uh, that, hey, this library is outdated, there's a new Angular version and the old one doesn't work. Or I would do occasional cleanup of all of the repositories and bump the dependencies. And of course, obvious, that solution is not ideal because uh, users get frustrated and the uh, library suddenly stop working. So uh, let's dive in into the comparison between the Pandabot and uh, Renovate. First choice for managing dependency updates is the Pandabot, as it is already integrated with GitHub. And it's already enabled by default for open source repositories. And you can disable or enable it by going to security, dependabot, configure to manage repository vulnerability settings. And either disable or enable dependabot. Dependabot is a nice tool, but it can also be annoying, especially if you haven't configured it. Like in this example, it opened many pull requests. To configure it, create a dependabot YAML file, and it should be in the .github directory. And first off, configure frequency of updates, as in daily, weekly, or monthly, the directory where your package JSON is located. And either list dependencies of interest as in allow. In this example, I'm interested in Mongoose. Or you can specify dependencies which Dependabot needs to ignore. And pull request for Dependabot, it looks like this. And here's what I don't like about Dependabot and where Renovate both will shine. I'd like to specify maximum range that the panda bot should check. Like for instance, I should, maybe I'm only interested in minor and patch versions, not in the next major version. One more thing, you can also call the panda bot manually. If you would like to manually call its checking by going into dependency graph in the insights tab and the Pandabot tab, and here is the timestamp where it was last checked uh, nine hours ago in my example, and you can click on check for updates, and it will do a recheck. And there is a single pull request per each dependency. RenovateBot is a service that helps at keeping dependencies up to date using automated pull requests, and you can include it in to one of the two ways. You can either install it as a GitHub action, and whenever you push to your repository, Renovate will do a check if there are any dependencies that need updating. And when you enable it as a GitHub app, please avoid my mistake and don't enable everything that you own because Renovate bot will, for each of your repositories, open this pull request. And this pull request contains basic configuration that Renovate needs for checking of your dependencies. This is a JSON file, renovate.json, that should be in the root of your directory. And here you specify configuration for Renovate. For example, here is my private repository and here is Renovate JSON. 
and I'm not interested in all of the dependencies that are contained in package JSON. I'm more interested that Renovate opens a pull request when it finds a new Mongoose version update. And instead of it opening several pull requests, it will open just one. You can review Renovate logs whenever Renovate was instructed to recheck your dependencies by going into, by logging into Renovate bot website. Here are all the records where Renovate bot did the check. And you can view the details of the log. If you happen to publish Renovate JSON file that is not correct, you can debug the incorrect JSON file and probably Renovate will recommend a more correct JSON file in the debug logs. I haven't mentioned another way where you can include Renovate bot and that is not a GitHub app if you prefer not to install a GitHub app. You can also include it in a GitHub action. And for the GitHub action to work, you need to define a special personal access token. I personally prefer to use it as a GitHub app.